basically, as far as Pakistan and Afghanistan are concerned, it's uh, the same policies of George Bush. So it's George Bush plus. In other words, he's uh, escalated the, uh, the violence. Uh, this whole idea of a surge, I don't know what it's going to achieve, but I know it's going to kill a lot of people. And lo most of the people killed will be innocent. And yet he got the Nobel Peace Prize. What do you think that was about? I, I think it was Hugo Chavez who said that it's like giving a, a trophy before the match starts. Um, you know, there has to be some performance to get uh, a Nobel Prize. And his speeches were what made us pray for him. But we didn't realize that when he meant about uh, uh, ending the war, he only meant Iraq. And what is, what is happening in Afghanistan is, uh, and, and Pakistan. Pakistan, the escalation of uh, war, where U.S. is bombing its own ally. I mean, it's, this is also unheard of. Here's Pakistan allied to the U.S. Pakistani soldiers are dying. Pakistani citizens are dying. Pakistani's econo economy has collapsed. The more uh, uh, the U.S. has pressed Pakistan to do more, the more Pakistan has bombed its own people, the more suicide attacks, the more terrorism, the more radicalization, the more of an economic collapse, specifically in the frontier province. Huge unemployment. Uh, and now um, this, this surge, this will only add to all this. But who's advising him? Well, if there's one Pakistani who's advising him, and uh, all from Pakistani point of view, I can say is that with friends like that Pakistani, we don't need enemies. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I think he does not understand the issue. I don't think Obama understands the Afghanistan, the tribal area issue. He doesn't understand the Pashtun, the character of the Pashtun. And he hasn't, he hasn't sort of studied the history of this area. He ha hasn't realized that the Russians killed one million Afghans. And they were fighting more intensely uh, than when they were in the beginning. But the vice president is very familiar with the area. And surely that was, uh, he, that was regarded as one of the plus points. Well, we had the Biden-Luger bill because Joe Biden clearly understood it was a question of winning hearts and minds. Terrorism is an idea. You only win the war not by bombs, but when we win the people over to your side. So hence the Kerry-Luger bill. But it's all going to go waste if, uh, if the drone attacks are going to increase, which is what they have happened so far. And if the surge is going to just kill more people. Um, in 2009, there were 44 drone attacks. This is the figures released by the Pakistan government. They killed 708 people. We don't know the number of people injured. And remember, people who get injured in these bombings are minus legs and arms, maimed. But we don't know the numbers, but we know that 700 civilians innocent civilians got killed, and there were eight terrorists that got killed in these 44 attacks. Now, what does he expect? Does, is, should we be surprised that Pakistanis now, 80% Pakistanis consider America a bigger enemy than India, who we fought three wars with? Well, all good things come to an end, including today's show. But we'll be back next week at the same time and in the same place. And if you want to know more about the guests who came on board, go to our website, www.ritansiandridley.com. We're even on Twitter and Facebook. And there's a new poll. We're asking you to grade President Barack Obama's performance. Time to weigh uh, anchor, I think, after that uh, unscientific uh, poll you're launching. Um, it's goodbye from me, Afshin Ratansi, and from my co-presenter, Yvonne Ridley. Until we see you next week, we'll leave you with the thoughts of some U.S. military veterans pleading with President Obama not to escalate the U.S. war on Afghanistan. President Obama, in honor of Veterans Day, I ask you not to escalate troops in Afghanistan. As a combat veteran in the United States Marine Corps, I do not believe sending more troops is the answer in Afghanistan. President Obama, I was there for your entire presidential campaign. I was your outreach coordinator for students for Barack Obama. I, I was an, an intern for Obama for America because I really believed that you can change America and I think you still do have a chance to, to, to change 
what's happening in Afghanistan. Sir, I urge you to be a great leader. Recognize where we're at in Afghanistan. Recognize that more troops are only going to make the problem worse. They're not going to destroy Al Qaeda, and it's not going to stabilize Pakistan. And I will ask you to uh, stop combat operations in villages and valleys where our troops are dying only because the people who are fighting us there are fighting us because they're occupied. I thought as soon as the, as soon as we'd hit the ground, we'd immediately start. Uh, changing things and making it better for the people, but during the entire time I was there, we rarely did any kind of humanitarian aid missions. Further troops in Afghanistan is going to escalate the violence, is going to escalate the Taliban recruiting effort, and is, is certainly not going to uh, create a better situation. We all recognize that we need security in that region, but I think it's a, a security that needs to be borne by the Afghan people, not by American and coalition forces. I hope you make the right choice because it's our blood that is on the line. Join me in asking President Obama not to escalate troops in Afghanistan. Sign the petition at RethinkAfghanistan.com and I'll deliver it to the White House.